WHCN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome back to another episode of Braves Beat. I'm Sam Huell. And I'm Nick Guinan. To open, we have word that water has been boiled. Rest in peace, boiled water. You will be missed. That joke missed. Anyways, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month, which is a global initiative created by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the National Cybersecurity Alliance to recognize the importance of digital security for both businesses and individuals. Now, an internationally recognized campaign, CAM, aims to spread awareness about the importance and urgency of cybersecurity. Over the weekend, the fall play A Midsummer's Night Dream was a huge success. Check out these highlights from the shows. The queen not come within his sight. Oberon is passing. Fell in wrath. Because that she, as her attendant, hath their bed joy and prosperity. How canst thou thus for shame, Titania? Glance at my credit with Apollota, knowing I know thy love to Theseus. Ooh. Your virtue is my privilege, for that it is not night when I do see your face. Therefore, I think I am not in the night, nor doth this would lack worlds of company. For you, in my respect, are all the world. Then how can it be said I am alone when all the world is here to look on me? I <laughs> What a great performance, Braves. Congrats to all of the cast and crew. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes for FCA is sponsoring a winter gear collection drive. Bring in new or gently used coats, gloves, hoodies, sweatshirts, blankets, scarves, or more. Donation bins will be located in the front lobby, and the bins will be organized according to class. The class with the most items will receive a gift card from Chick-fil-A. Collections will start next Monday on October 24th through November 29th. See flyers located around the school or see Mr. Witt in room number 208 for more info. Now it's time for our weekly sports report with Ashwini and Sydney. Hello Braves, I'm Sydney Frost with this week's sports report. And I'm Ashwini Krishan. Starting off with volleyball, the girls beat Cincinnati Christian in their last season match at home of the year, 3-0. Way to go, girls. Moving on with golf, Wyatt Higgins placed sixth overall and second team All-Ohio Honors at the OHSAA D2 State Championship held at The Ohio State University Scarlet Course. Way to go, Wyatt. Girls golf had the wrap-up of their season last week. Piper Isgrick made it to districts and did a great job with her final matches of her high school golf career. Great season, ladies. On Tuesday night, the girls' soccer team took on Goshen at home and won their first tournament game 4-0. We hope to see more success from them as they continue on into the tournament. Last Saturday, the boys' soccer team had a win against DeSales 2-0 away, and they have another game tonight against Bethel Tate. It's their last home game of the year and first tournament game, so come out and support. Over the weekend, some of the girls competed individually in the OHSAA District Tournament. Junior Brooke Arrington got second in singles, and sophomore Caroline Brown got fourth. And doubles junior Lexi Larson and sophomore Cassie Larson got fourth. These girls compete today and tomorrow in the OHSAA State Tournament, and we will have those results in next week's episode. Good luck, Braves! Our cross-country team ran in the CHL Championship at Ross High School last weekend. Our varsity boys placed third, and our girls placed fourth. Congratulations to Miles, Jonah, Ojas, Liam, Kaya, Hadassah, and Ava E for receiving medals. They will be running at the district meet this Saturday. Good luck, Braves. Last Friday, the Dogmen celebrated senior night, highlighting Jack Stacy, Xavier Coach, Sam Yule, and Salome Patrajan. On this play, quarterback Alex Grace collected a pair of ankles on a five-yard trip to the end zone. The Amazing Grace contributed 240 all-purpose yards along with four extra points and a 37-yard field goal for a saucy 23.96 fantasy points. 
Then, in the third quarter, Penn picked and maneuvered his way into open field and flew past the goal line like a majestic pelican for six. Penn ran rampant, totaling 104 yards and four touchdowns on the ground and three receptions for 15 yards. He would finish the game with a week-winning 52.4 fantasy points. They unfortunately suffered a loss against Deer Park 37-38, but come out and cheer them on tomorrow night at Reading and the theme is Toga. Good luck, Braves. Tuesday night, the girls' field hockey team took on Oakwood at home for their first tournament game. They suffered a tough loss 1-0, but played hard and played well. We are proud of you girls for all of your hard work this season. Well, that's all for this week's sports report. Back to you at the news desk. Thanks for that informative report as our sports teams enter the postseason. Good luck, Braves. Here's some information about this year's talent show. Tryouts are on November 14th after school. Rehearsal is on December 6th after school and the talent show is on December 7th during Flex. Check out the flyers around the building or click on the QR code for more information. Devin Wyatt and I did some Halloween trivia for the holiday season. Let's check it out. Hello, Braves. We're doing Ice Bath Trivia Halloween Edition. We got Devin West up first. Come on. Come on. He's in the tub. Here we go, Dev. So, Devin. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of ice in there, but... Devin, how much did Americans spend on Halloween? Like, how much did they spend? Five, five, like, like, five, like, like three billion. Incorrect. Two point six billion. Whoa. What? What vegetable is a part of the tradition on the night before Halloween? Uh, uh, corn. Incorrect. Cabbage. How many pounds of candy corn are produced each year? Thirty-two million. Got. I'll give it to you. Thirty-five million. Here's Devin West. Just got done with his round of questions. Next up, Ben Vigran. Ben, your first question is, what was candy corn originally called? Oh, I saw this on my For You page today. Chicken feed. Bruh. Bruh. Oh my gosh, correct. I didn't know that, bro. Ben and Devin just finished up. Last up is Wyatt Higgins. Oh. Wyatt, your first question is, when is Halloween thought to have originated? Uh, 1500. Incorrect. When was the Halloween when was Halloween first celebrated in the United States? Within a decade. 1850. 1840s, correct. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> Found, Found it. it. Noggin. Now that looks chilly. Boo Graham, the cancer free kids Halloween fundraiser, starts this week. Send a special treat to any student and it will be anonymously delivered the week of Halloween. Visit the table in the lunchroom to buy lollipops for $1 each. Support the cause. Reese had an opportunity to sit down with Chloe Hutton to talk about her Halloween film project. Roll the clip. Hello Braves, I'm Reese Tuttle and today we have Chloe Hutton. So we're here to talk about a very large film project that Chloe decided to do. So what motivated you and what made you decide to do such a big project? And since it was a, um, a Halloween episode coming up and since you know we have it, we're producing it for Braves Beat, I was like, you know what, why not just do a Halloween episode? How do you plan on like managing your cast and your members? How do you plan to execute this? So um, I started, we started filming last week so uh, it was also a short week that week, mm -hmm. and I was thinking maybe we could do some during flex and then maybe do some after school, but I know everybody has you know different plans and stuff. So I was thinking you know maybe do a little bit, like do different scenes when everybody's here. So for example, uh, we did the opening scene with uh, Six Bell, and that's because everybody was there. I was like, we can get this scene done. Then the next day we had Fifth Bell and we did uh, just one of the last scenes in the whole entire movie. So I was like, we can do different scenes on different days and just put it all together later. Right. And then make sure just everybody's there, everybody's having a good time. Um, but with the cast members, it's all, it's all pretty good. You know, we're all amateurs, you know, no one's professional. We're, we're all just here to have fun and hopefully mm -hmm. everybody likes it. Yeah, I agree. And. Uh, so that kind of sounds like your preparation method. So did you have any props or anything that you really needed to, you know, prepare? I found these uh, handcuffs, mm -hmm. which is also is a part of the skit, you know. it's uh, I found those out of nowhere, and I was like, this would be perfect. With every other props and, like, costume and stuff, you don't really need much. So I guess my final question would be, do you have any uh, tricks up your sleeve or anything that you have 
prepared for the film without giving away the plot. Do you have any surprises? Um, I guess we'll just have to find out. We'll have to find out. Well, I can't wait to see your super fun episode of the Halloween skit, and I hope you guys tune in next week to see it. Thank you for putting in the effort and producing. Thank you. Thank Back you. to you at the news desk. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing the short film next week. Make sure you all tune in to next week's Halloween episode. So, Nick, any plans for this upcoming three-day weekend? I was actually planning on attending the funeral for the boiled water. Gone but not forgotten. Well, that's all for this week. So be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. Come in. Welcome back, Brady's Beat, to another banging. We're going to get Zachary Rosenbaum to go scare random people at our high school. Scary. The sharp decline in agricultural yield last summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm.